Hey, welcome back to From the Tech Desk by your RCX Person Your Eyes Hobby. I'm your host, Brad Brooker. Today we're talking about how easy it is to switch out your servo in the axial rift. So it's time to switch out your servo or your rift. You'll need a servo, a battery, two millimeter wrench, or a speed driver, and your transmitter. Well, let's get started. First, we're gonna start by taking the old servo out. So we're gonna start taking the receiver box out to get to the servo plug. Two screws on top. We'll flip the truck over. Next are three screws here, the little triangle screws there. This will allow you to pull the receiver box out. You'll flip it upside down there. Next, we'll take the four screws off the actual top of the receiver box. Remove the receiver box lid. This allows you access to the receiver. So let's go ahead and take the servo out now as well. Four screws here on the servo mount you'll want to remove. I'll flip the truck back over. And also you'll want to remove the servo saver as well. Once you get those four screws out, you're going to unattach your servo saver. You want to flip the truck back over again. We'll go ahead and plug the servo now. Go pull the old one out. Now it's time to install the new servo. All right, now it's time to install the new servo. One thing to do to make sure is make sure it's sitting in there in the correct orientation of the previous servo. So go ahead and feed the servo lead through. The servo next. One thing you'll want to do as well this time I like to do is I like to go ahead and mount the servo in place. This is a preference. You can either run the wire, but I like to get it mounted lock solid before I run the wire. Go ahead and install it. Put your four screws back in. Now it's time to route the wire and plug it into the receiver. Also, when routing it to the actual receiver box, allow a little slack just for uh, movement, especially with the travel of the, of the axle and everything. And also, make sure you put the, the wire inside the actual rubber grommet. That's for waterproofing as well. So make sure you feed it right to that, that way as well. So once you have it through the rubber grommet, you go and plug it in. Make sure you have it in channel one. And make sure you have the polarity correct as well on the, on the actual plug, plug it into the receiver. You can go and wrap the wire in the receiver box. Also, when installing a new servo in your SR6100 AT receiver, you will have to redo calibration for the ABC. So just a heads up, you will have to redo that. Uh, before you get all buttoned up, you want to make sure you have that set up and ready to go before everything's all done. Once you have the servo installed, now it's time to install the servo horn. A few things we want to do prior to that, we'll want to fire up the truck, so we have to make sure this, the servo is centered itself, and also you want to make sure your transmitter is on, and when your transmitter is on, make sure the throw is at 100%, and also everything is zeroed out on your steering. Go ahead and turn your truck on. Go ahead and initialize and set. I usually like to turn the wheel just back and forth one time, let it center itself, go up with the servo horn on, make sure it's centered when you're putting it on, go ahead and start your screw here, I'm not going to tighten it down all the way, I'm just going to start it and we'll tighten it down once the vehicle is turned off, so we have no added stress onto the servo. Alright, go turn the vehicle off. Tighten down the servo saver here. We're going to tighten this up. We're going to turn everything back on. Now we're going to set our endpoints to make sure our throw is okay. Yep, everything looks good. There's no added stress on the equipment. There you have it. That's how quick and easy it is to change the servo on your axial rift.
Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for other helpful videos from your RC experts here at Horizon Hobby.